mother effing giggle coaster going, huh? Woo! Are you, are you mesmerized by my sparkles? Good. Because I, I killed a genie to get this jacket. It was only after I had cut the jacket off the genie's dead body that I realized I could simply wish for it. (sighs) Should have wished for hindsight. (sighs) What a conundrum. Feel guilty. (laughs) You're welcome. Don't come find me when that genie ghost haunts you. All right, um, I got so much to cover tonight. I wanna do uh, two things. The first thing is, I wanna try to find Amelia Earhart. Uh, Every day that goes by, I just fear the worst for her. Maybe if we could put our heads together, Canada, we could figure it out, because I can tell you right now that President Obama does not give a shit. The second thing that I'm going to do is two monologues, one regular, and one vaginal. (laughs) It's going to get intense. Do I have a 95-minute knock-knock joke? You bet your ass I do. It's going to start real curious. You're not going to know who's there. And then after a journey, if they cut it out of this broadcast, all the people at home know that they're missing out. Um, I've been uh, watching a lot of internet lately. I'm a bit uh, addicted. I can't lie. I'm on the internet every day. <laughs> I, I, when I was young, I would, if I wanted to, you know, explore uh, my sensuality, all I had access to was a poster of Robert Smith above my bed. I mean, that was it. But these days, you can click onto you porn and you just get the whole buffet. And I don't know what's going to happen to this generation, but I am afraid that the girls are going to grow up attracted to men without faces. <laughs> And that's going to ruin the population. Um, I know I was going to do two monologues, but I'm only, I'm only allowed time for one now. Because we had so much fun, didn't we? <laughs> My God. Um, has, how many people here um, have seen the vagina monologues? <laughs> Woo! Well, you were probably in it. I can tell. Because you're like, yes! And he, vagina monologues! Anyone else? Any? Yeah. Okay, great. Um, I have two. And when I watched it, I was inspired and I thought to myself, you know what? There are so many other body parts that we're ashamed of that I should write monologues about. And I penned a set of monologues about one area of the body called the taint. It's called the Taint Monologues. Now, just so you know, taint is the scientific word for the area between your genitals and your anus. Because it ain't your anus, and it ain't your balls, and it ain't your vagina. It's your taint. Okay? That's the scientific word. And that is why I have pinned the taint logs. So... I am going to read one taintalogue for you tonight. Um, I know, it's educational. This might be a bit of a navel gazer. You know, you're going to be reflecting on this. And, I, and I'm so glad. Okay. This is published. Okay, this is in a book. It's in a book. So it's important. My taint is tiny, it's special, it's mine. You can steal my heart, but you are not taking my taint. You can rip apart my dignity, but my taint will remain intact. 
you can do me in the anus, but just you try to penetrate my taint. I hold on to my taint fiercely because you can't have it. I'll never forget the first time I saw my taint. I was 13. I was in my bedroom with my mother's hand mirror. I was on my back, legs spread, gazing at my treasure, nestled like an island between two black holes. <laughs> it was a constant between unknowns. I touched my pinky finger to my taint and pretended it was a castaway on Taint Island. <laughs> my pinky chased its small island quarters and quickly developed rock fever. Pinky jumped frantically for help and caught Ring Finger's attention. He was on his way. <laughs> Together they made a home on Taint Island, exploring the parameters back and forth endlessly. But before they could get off the island, my mother walked in on me. <laughs> she was livid, horrified, annoyed, and most of all, jealous. <laughs> she grabbed the mirror away from me and screamed, I don't ever want to see you playing with your tank again! <laughs> and I didn't. For 42 years, four taint-free decades passed me by. My taint was nothing but a ghost down there, floating silently between my anus and vagina, haunting my prepubescent memories. I know. After my mother died, I had to clean out her house. The first thing I found was that hand mirror. I missed my mom, but now I missed my taint even more. I closed the door to her bedroom and arranged myself on her bed. I was scared of what I might see. Would my taint still look the same? Or would it look as old as my face? I took a deep breath and positioned the mirror between my legs. There it was. It looked exactly the same. A piece of skin stretched between my anus and vagina. I touched my pinky to it. We were reunited. I started laughing and crying and shouting. I hope you're watching, Mother. I'm playing with my taint. And you can't do anything about it because you're dead. My taint was the opposite of dead. It was resurrected. My taint is tiny. My taint is special. But most of all, my taint is my taint. Knock, knock. 